Now, deeper the fish are, the bigger they actually will end up being versus what you're seeing on the screen. In other words, what I've noticed is that if you're catching a fish deep, it can look smaller, yet when you pull it out of the water, it will be bigger. So we've got one down here that's all the way down at 15 feet, which is pretty, hey, he looks like he's a big fish. So we're gonna give her a rip potato chip. Here we go. And we got him. We're gonna find out. Big fish. Bam! That's a good start to an episode. <laughs> fish a little deeper in this episode, like I mentioned in the last one. And look at the first fish we catch, guys. Beautiful white fish right there. Beautiful. Doesn't get much better than that. So welcome to the episode. Please share. We're using the Optimize, the Savage 13. We're out here on Wren Lake. We're going to fish deeper structure, and hopefully it'll be a video full of these. Here we go. Now, if you guys were here on the last episode, we were catching fish roughly in the eight foot mark. A um, lot of fish, tons of fish. In fact, I'd say the bulk of the fish are at eight to 10. And, and the idea behind this episode is, are they bigger, deeper? Um, is it a better place to go fish if you want the bigger fish? So that's what we're doing today. We're kind of establishing that. And right now we are in a 14.7 water column. We've got, look at this, we've got another good good mark right there. So we'll be going after that guy right there for sure. Perfect mark. Um, you know, that's probably gonna be a similar size. It's, a, it's at least a pound fish. And uh, that's a good sized fish right now this time of year. There we go. Good fish, another good fish. Nice solid eaters here. Definitely liking the size, the size up. Um, no monster, but definitely a size up from where we were earlier. So again, using the Savage guys, if you don't know much about the Savage, let me tell you, it's an incredible 13 footer, stout, professional grade. But it, the, the, the twist on the Savage is that there's actually some midsections you can add to it to turn it into a 15 or a 16 footer on the fly. The Savage 13, available at three pound fishing. You go check it out, um, you're absolutely gonna love it. You put one of these in your hand, I'll guarantee you, you'll be buying one, two more uh, just to compliment them because they are that beautiful. And yes, you can buy extra tips, you can buy extra midsections, all that good stuff. Oh, oh, oh baby. I'm telling you what, a faint, faint, Another good fish, guys. Another good fish. <laughs> Bam! We letting them go. Good fish. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm liking the deeper stuff. Look at this. We got another one way down there. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can double up on this. See this guy way down there, that deep. This is where we should have been. Now, a lot of times with that sun coming out, that will definitely push these fish to a deeper depth, um, getting away from the sun. This water's not that muddy right now. So we're all the way down there with them. We've kind of lost sight of them right now, but I know my baits weren't with them. And again, a lot of times you're gonna lose your sonar feedback when you when the fish is on the other side of that timber but you have to trust that it's still there so there's the fish i can see it now and i'm dropping straight down on it. i have good visibility of it and i'm just going to lay it right on its back and sometimes i just don't see it right away And now we're coming into perfect. Sonar feedback's the same on my bait and the fish, so I know I'm right on it. Now it's just a question of whether or not he wants to bite it or not. Look at 
Definitely not bigger. Well, you looked better down there too. There we go. Hmm, baby. All right, good fish here, guys. I think I like the deeper fish, no doubt about it. Bigger fish for sure. Um, the let that guy go. As always, using the bluegrass hair jig. You, it's available at the three pound fishing site. I'm using the 132nd ounce. I'm not saying it's the absolute go to, but it's what I've been fishing with here lately. It doesn't seem to have any problems putting them in the boat. Um, but I can tell you there's less fish here, but I think the quality of fish is definitely better. Um, but I think, you know, going down to that eight to 10 foot mark certainly adds fun to your day because you're catching a lot more fish. Now, without a doubt, a different class of fish here. Now I'm using the one, number seven split shot. Like I always roughly, when I go to these vertical fishing lakes like this, that, that, that is only roughly around seven, eight inches from the bait. It can even be closer. Uh, again, the optimized from sniping braid is the ticket here. Um, and then of course the Savage 13, you guys can check that out of course on the website so we will have darbone coming up here shortly i know we're going to do crab orchard we've got quite a few lakes that we're going to be fishing so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed Rin lake and uh, thanks again for watching and please share the content appreciate it we're going to be going through a bunch of different lakes for the next month month and a half so i appreciate you guys take it easy